several have been contacted by persons who they described as Secret Service. Channel 2 Action News has confirmed federal agents have questioned members of Bishop Eddie Long's church about a failed investment scandal. New at 6, the answers the agents are after. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jovita Moore in for Monica Pearson. I'm Justin Farmer. Now, this is part of an ongoing case involving more than a million dollars lost by church members who are now suing the investment company and the church. Investigative reporter Jody Fleischer has been working all day to confirm who's investigating, and she's here now with what she's found. Justin, a spokesman for the Secret Service told me they are forensically examining computers and questioning people who lost money on those investments. And we've also confirmed the Georgia Secretary of State's office is investigating for securities violations to see if anyone broke the law. He needs to be put under the jail, not in the jail. Lillian Wells says she can't use the words she really wants to when describing Ephraim Taylor, a man who she calls clean cut, charismatic, and a crook. I think he knew what he was doing all along and just was there for a farce, you know, it was just all false. Many of us with our wealth and with our money, we foolish. Lillian says it turns out the foolish decision was trusting her pastor, Bishop Eddie Long, who endorsed Taylor during presentations at New Birth Missionary Baptist Church. Lillian and nine other members lost more than a million dollars. Her lawsuit says Taylor in some cases assured church members the investments were safe, conservative, and that they would provide guaranteed income. It turns out Taylor and his companies were not licensed to sell investments or render investment advice in Georgia. Without Long and the church recommending this investment, what's the percentage chance that you would have done it? I wouldn't have. Lillian says that's exactly what she told federal agents from the Secret Service who questioned her last month about Taylor and the investments. A Secret Service spokesman also confirmed agents seized laptops from Bishop Long's inner circle of employees at the church. Lillian's attorney says Long should also be responsible for the investment losses. With regard to the Georgia securities laws, uh, he stepped out of the traditional role as a pastor and stepped into the role as a salesman of securities. In fact, the lawsuit alleges New Birth and Bishop Long directly or indirectly received compensation from the other defendants for allowing them to render investment advice and to solicit the investment opportunities. And if that is so... <sighs> that would kind of mean that maybe he was a part of it. Now here's where it gets tricky. The Secret Service initially told me it was merely assisting the DeKalb County Police Department and that they were the lead on the case. DeKalb now says it is not criminally investigating and handed the case over to the Securities and Exchange Commission. The SEC has declined to comment, so has a spokesman for Bishop Long and the church. Justin? Jody, thank you. Now more details on Efren Taylor and his seminars at New Birth Missionary Baptist Church. The seminars were over four days in 2009. Taylor preached during a Sunday service. Here's a look at the video of a 21, 2020 program profiling Taylor in 07 as an up-and-coming millionaire. We also did some digging on Taylor's investment capital company. It's called City Capital. The Los Angeles Better Business Bureau gave the company an F because of customer complaints. 